Hello, welcome to week four, unit five. My name is Leslie Carson. In this unit, we're going to be looking at growing your user experience, lessons learned for Postgo Live and upgrades. The first question we're going to ask is, how do I increase my UX adoption? Before we have a look at the methodology, it's important to remember that UX is more than just apps. As well as the SAP Fury apps, you can have launchpad features such as notifications and SAP Enterprise Search. You can also have intelligent use cases and custom use cases. And you can also mix and match these with um, classic UIs available in SAP S4 HANA. Initially, you can refine your app selection by business roles. You can refine your app selection further by UX value goals if you want to become, say, more mobile app. Or have more insights and use analytics type apps, for example. You could find by process use case, by business capacity, by project capacity, and finally by what users actually use. So with this methodology, you should come up with a finite uh, set of apps that you can implement and activate that should give you uh, immediate business value. It's important to understand that success drives further adoption. So if you get this right, your users will come back to you and ask for more apps, which you can uh, then more apps and innovations, which you can then schedule over the course of time. You can also use the SAP Signalio Process Insights tool. This is the fastest path to process improvements and is a um, process analytics solution that helps you rapidly discover areas for improvement and automation. You can quickly connect to SAP ELP applications with fast data extraction capabilities, uh, get insights into core business processes, um, and so on. You can also benchmark your performance against your industry peers. There is also the SAP Innovation and Optimization Pathfinder tool. This allows you to identify opportunities for innovation, business process improvements, and IT optimizations. You can identify the areas for the highest potential for the process improvement and automation and you can find out which SAP solutions will bring immediate value to your business operations. Here we're going to look at the SAP Fiori Apps Recommendations tool. This tool is available in the SAP Fiori Apps Recommendations Library. It allows you to identify the best fit SAP Fiori Apps based on your past system usage so in that respect, it's a very useful tool. You can use transaction STO3N to create a comma separated list file for your current uh, classic UIs. And then you can upload this .csv file um, to the tool, which we can see here uh, in the blue button, get SAP Fuel Reacts recommendations. In this next slide, uh, we're having a look at the output of the SAP Fuel Reacts recommendations tool. SAP Fury apps uh, related by, uh, are rated by relevance. Level th a level three rating, so this SAP Fury app is highly relevant as it directly matches a transaction code you are already using. Level one or level two, this SAP Fury app is relevant because you're using transactions from the application area that the SAP Fury app belongs to. You can also use the SAP Signalio Process Navigator. So this has content uh, that used to be in the Best Practices Explorer, which has now been deprecated and the content has been migrated to the SAP Signalio Process Navigator. Each solution has a test script uh, with an overview of the SAP Fury apps associated with the solution process. So you can see here for the uh, solution scenario, SAP Best Practices for SAP S4 HANA, uh, in the finance line of business, we can look at financial operations and the accounts payable uh, solution. And in section three, in the test script, there is an overview table with all the SAP Fuel Reacts relevant for the accounts payable process. There's also a uh, feature comparison uh, documents that are often available. So these, they, these feature comparison documents of the way you have an overlap between classic UIs and SAP Fiori apps. 
They offer a comparison uh, between the classic UIs and the SAP Fiori apps in a simple tabular format so you can get a clear and simple understanding of what features are available. In this example, we're looking at the tabular comparison between classic UIs VA01, VA02, VA03, and the managed sales order SAP Fiori app. So we're just going to have a look at our first demo. We're going to look at the SAP Signavio Process Navigator. In this, we're going to look at the solution scenario, the solution process, test scripts, and then finally the overview table with SAP Fiori apps for the solution process. So here we're looking at the solution scenario. And we're going to page down and look at SAP best practices for SAP s we're going to have a look at the finance line of business, financial operations, and the accounts payable solution process. And in the used in section, we're going to have a look at the test script, which is a Word document that you can download for the solution process. And in section three, we can have a look at the overview table. So here we can see all the SAP Fiori apps relevant for this business process. Welcome back from the demo. The next tool we're going to look at is the upgrade impact analysis. So this tool allows you to identify the impact of an upgrade on your SAP Fiori apps. You can use the SAP Fiori order pad content aggregator, for example, uh, to help create a .csv file. You can upload this .csv file into the tool, which you can see here in, in blue at the bottom, the run SAP Fiori upgrade impact analysis. And this tool is very useful in giving you an insight into um, what apps may or may not be available in your target release if you're planning an upgrade. So here we can see um, a sample output of the um, upgrade impact analysis. So in your target SAP s HANA release, uh, you can quickly identify which SAP Fiori apps and classic UIs that are unavailable or obsolete, deprecated, apps that have successors, and apps that are still available. This is an excellent tool to help with planning and deciding what you do and don't need. Here we're just going to have a look at our second demo. We're going to have a look at the Upgrade Impact Analysis tool in the SAP Fiori Apps Reference Library. We're going to look at unavailable apps, deprecated apps, available apps with a successor, available apps and unknown apps. So here we're in the SAP Fiori Apps Reference Library, uh, and we're just having a look at the, the SAP Help Documentation for the SAP Fiori Upgrade Impact Analysis. Um, and we can run the tool itself. And that, as mentioned before, you just upload a .csv file. And the .csv file basically contains a list of um, apps and classic UIs that you're currently using. And here we're typing in a name, and then we're uploading the file. So you can see the output here with unavailable apps, deprecated apps, apps available with successor, available apps. And there's links to the uh, successor apps and relevant SAP notes as necessary. So you can see there's an excellent tool to help with your planning. Welcome back from the demo. In this next question, we're going to look at why you should upgrade your SAP S4 HANA release. You need to keep your system up to date to make the most of the latest innovations. So it's important you focus on a technical upgrade first, separate out the work and reduce the risk. Minimize the upgrade scope as much as possible and include mandatory must move changes only, for example, replacing obsolete apps. After the upgrade, um, plan your technical upgrade. Don't leave getting those new features or benefits until chart to chance. Plan your functional upgrades around your technical upgrade. You can also use the SAP um, S4 HANA What's New Viewer, so you can file new features in your sandbox in parallel to your technical upgrade. And you can apply the functionality as soon as possible after your technical upgrade. There's also the um, SAP Roadmap Viewer, um, it's important to understand that um, 
new business processes are only available with SAP Fiori, for example, central procurement. So if you're not using SAP Fiori, you're going to be missing out completely on these new processes and innovations. If upgrades are less frequent, you risk missing out um, on SAP s innovations and its associated business benefits. There's the SAP readiness check also. So this will help you understand how new, new SAP Fiori apps introduced in later versions, SAP s can enhance the business process uh, in use in the analyzed system. So the SAP readiness check um, also works SAP s upgrades. So that brings us to the end of Unit 5. So the key takeaways for Unit 5 are, remember that UX uh, success drives further adoption. So if you get things right, um, the adoption will be high and users will come back to you with more. You need to upgrade regularly to get the latest innovations and in business processes. The more you upgrade, the smaller the delta and the easier it is. Uh, the less frequently you upgrade, the bigger the delta and the more complicated it is. It's important to separate out technical and functional upgrades so that you minimize the scope and also the risk. And you should also take advantage of the tools and resources that SAP provides you with, with your current journey is about moving, upgrading, or adopting more value from SAP S4 HANA. The key takeaways for this course are as follows. You need to remember that UX enables new ways of working that bring new business value. There'll be cross-functional features that every user will use, such as enterprise search or notifications. You need to learn where to focus attention first in core modules. And you need to understand the project responsibilities, especially around access, configuration, and extensions. And it's important that you take advantage of the latest intelligent experiences. And make adoption easy with good layout design on your Fiori Launchpad and well-chosen defaults. With that, we come to the end of Unit 5 and also this OpenSAP course. I hope you've enjoyed the course content and have had a good learning experience. I'd like to thank all of my colleagues from the SAP Rig team for their contribution and you, the learners, for your attention and interest. Good luck with weekly assignment for course week 4 and also the final exam. Thank you and goodbye.